What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Clone's Adventure. When we last left off, I was giving you a tour of all my houses. Check that out if you haven't. There should be an annotation. If there isn't, I am sorry. You can slap me all you want if you can. If you ever find me in real life, which I hope you don't, because that'd be creepy. But we're touring through houses right now. Uh, let's see. Glacier Base. Oh, man. I had the most kick ass base there at one time. It's going to be the massive base, and I deleted it. Uh, worst thing I ever did. Damage Republic Course. I don't know if I ever changed this or not. I think I might have. Um, I forget what I put here. Oh, that's right. Oh, my. Knight on Ryloth. Looks pretty. Uh, so this used to be a Republic Defender course with the actual turrets. I took it down for a racing course for my squad. Survivors of Siege. Uh, so this is one of my more recent builds. Let's see. What should we choose? We're going to get an old classic FC-20 spear. So you would start here. I would tell people, go at the glowing start line. And they would go. I never did finish this place, but I was expanding it. You had that down arrow, in case you're obvious. Uh, you're not supposed to go down here, hence the X. Some people did. Just go up here and go across the hollow bridge. Now, what made that difficult was that multiple people would be going across the hollow bridge at the same time. So your chances of falling down were very high, hence why you should have been speeding very regularly. And if you fell, uh, there, you would go and come back through that door that had the X on it. So you go with the jump. There we go. Jump! Okay, we're just going to cheat for this one, just for the demonstration. Um, then we drop down over here. Drop down. Oh, nope, you don't want to go through the hole. You want to go through here. Go up. It was very confusing. I tried to make it in the most uh, le least confusing way possible. Yeah, you go down. There you go. So let me show you the other external functions. External functions. Why does that sound bad? Thanks. Someone loves me. Yeah. <laughs> Someone loves me. Da, 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 da. Okay, got water stations. So you go in here. Empty. I was going to put a lot of people in here, but it's basically confiscated stuff. You put your pets in here if you had pets. <sighs> Sorry, but I'm not going to join. Sorry. Uh, this is your little drinking room. Like, hey, I'm watching the game on the t big bad flash screen TV. You got your tree, your typical tree. Why not have a tree? Go in here. Um... Yeah. Go out here. Nothing much else to see. So that is that is that house. What is left? There's not much left at this point, I don't think. Um, I might be surprised. There's actually quite a bit left. Okay, so we got that. Hulk and Cannon Depot. Oh, my. I have so many houses. It's crazy. Hulk and Cannon Depot. This is my ultimate PvP area. In fact, when PvP first came out, people teleported me here, and they were doing battle. So you got a red base and a blue base. We're going to choose blue base in this instance. They're filled with uh, items of the colored variety, so we're going to go blue. Blue. And I had several squad events here as well. Uh, we, do, we did uh, Team Deathwatch versus, um, what is it, uh, Shadow Collective. That's what we did at some time. Shadow Collective is what we did here. So here you got the battle, the battle scars, the ultimate lightsaber, the key to destiny in the galaxy. One now you'd go in here. And you had a red base. There's not much to look at either. Bunch of red stuff. Um, this is my most recent build. I can tell you that for sure. I put this throne here at the end because I was thinking red, dark side. Someone wants their lightsaber. So, yep, I built that. Uh, after the game was announced to close, I was like, yep, build a throne. And there's actually some screenshots you might see eventually with me and my friends. We were playing around with that. So that's the dueling arena. Probably more of the practical of my houses. But yeah, I'm glad I put the Umbara to some use. Umbara is always a cool planet to go to. Alright, what's next? Uh, we got that. Something on Camino. I don't know. I don't think I ever finished this place. I built and rebuilt. I think I was going to make a museum here. Yeah, I was going to make a galactic museum. Put the clone at the front. Um, yeah, had some missile racks over here. Maybe it wasn't a museum. Maybe it was a command station of some sort. Not entirely sure what plans I had for it entirely. I know I rebuilt it several times, though. A couple lots I rebuilt several times. Um, yep, that was communal lot. Never got much done with that, which is fine. Houses, let's see, okay. Communal lot, Tatooine lot. Yeah, uh, shout out to General Eggs. Gave that to me a couple days ago. Pretty awesome. Frontline, Ancient Tegrusha Temple. Uh, this is awesome. Probably my fourth best house, if you ask me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I just went motoring on this house as soon as I got. So here I got this Republic fortification. Uh, don't go in there, they have cooties. Yeah, of course. That's what they would totally say. Uh, this is your Sith out place. So you got everything Sith 
and a bottle of wine here. I like how they have the the Sith temple on the uh, Sith symbol on the door, the Sith code symbol. Yeah. Um, so you had an entrance, and at the front was a holocron right up there, as you can see, caged uh, Gundark, kind of Sith urn. Epic entrance of fortitude. Sith do like triangles. So I built many pillars, many pillars, and if you look at here, none of these have anything inside them. They just look more convenient. I think I would have put um, more stuff in there. Jet Hyper Spark. This guy's really nice. Shout out to you, dude, if you're watching right now. Pillars. Hey, oh, Beast. He's actually chatting. Hello? Yeah, best YouTuber in the world. I love how, yeah, thanks. I mean, I, I can't describe how supportive you guys have been of me this whole time. It's great. Much Pillar. Very Sith. Ventress. Right there, just for the heck of it. I did Halloween it out at some point. Um, here you go. This was a dueling ring at some point. But I put the tomb of a, a Degrushan Sith Lord here. Just a given Degrushan Sith Lord. So, yeah. Over here... You were about to me. That statue is very cool. I got a couple of those. And here is my custom stairway over lava into what was once a prestigious throne. But, of course, this place has been overrun by stuff. I also used it as a trophy collection. Iceberg lot, Genesis lot, Umbara trophy. Surrounded it by much. <laughs> Message of the day, hi. So that is my Sith law. I really like it here. It's a pretty cool place. I'm glad they came out with this thing. It's good. It was a good idea, too. They have a dungeon, so why not let people build in it? Uh, I think we're closing in... Okay, we got two more houses before we go to my big daddy. Um, uh, Coruscant Luxury Chambers. You guys have seen this before. I've shown on several videos. It's been tons of videos already. Um, what time are we at? Okay, good. Oh, jeez. Okay, so here you got a little entrance lobby thingy here. Got a nice chair. Hello? Hey, uh, you heard about that food? Oh, what's it made of? Uh, corn? <laughs> Why is that so awkward? Like, he goes and jumps to the floor. Okay. Yeah, I've shown this in several videos already. It's nice. Um, very, very sad. Solon is the word I would use, but yeah. Uh, hi. Oh, God. The game has... F oh, my. That's not good. That's the thing I'm afraid about. Is the game is going to crash a lot tonight at the party, so... I'm not going to go to the parties. I'm going to go somewhere else. Here you go, you got the housing stuff, panels, TVs. I'm going through it really quick because I don't have a lot of time. Rex here, I built, this is the last thing I built before I left the game. I built a pad for my Starfighter. Trees, pads, really nice. I got multiple trophies, so I put them down here. And over here, I got like the little party center. Uh, I got one stand-up of every clone they had came out with. I think there's some I didn't do. Nope, I think I did all of them. I'm pretty sure I did all of them. You got fives. Neo, Cody, Boss. Not yeah, it's Boss. No, it's not Boss. It's Gregor. That's right. Wolf and Rex. Cool. All right. Let's see here. Um. And Meridian open lot. Actually, this is the most recent build I've done. Sorry, I keep contradicting myself, but this is the most recent build I've done. I've been working on it for the past few months. I bought it. Um, at the beginning of the month. Been working on it ever since. So here is my work in progress for the past few times. This is the Survivor's Hideout. This is going to be Survivor's Hideout. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been writing a fan fiction for Survivor's of the Siege, my squad. Uh, they, the Siege happens on Shealy, for those of you who never realized, or I never told you. Um, I, I've told people different things for different reasons, but I, I figured out it must be, it must be Shealy. Uh, so this plant, to me, looked the most like Shealy, even though Shealy has never been fully um, disguised. He had a bunch of wreck down here, and the idea was that uh, they would use the canyon as cover for their camp. So that's what I had. And here's a little medical center. Let me see if I can get inside. There we go. Little medical center. Ugh, I don't feel so good. Sir. Okay, never mind. Full Republic. America. Republic. Public. Yeah. A uh, little camp. Put this in literally yesterday. Let's see here. Uh, Brizak, probably the best thing to use. So here is probably one of my cooler designs, uh, if you ask me. Um, Genosis Rock Path. And you can, most people can parkour this. I can't, because I'm a failure. 
Okay, we're gonna go from the start. Eh. 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 Oh, crap. Yeah, Rancor Cage is down there. Not, never finished. We can do it. Yes, we did it. And up here, you got a, a wild adventure at your disposal. Yeah, I've shown this in a couple videos, I think. I did. Recent videos. So if you want to be on top of the world, hey, you can go over there. And also, the video you see my intro and outro for these videos has been done on the top over there. Right over there. Pretty cool. So yeah, nice, nice going. That's unfinished lot. And we have one more house to visit. And this is probably by far... Uh, wait, what about what about this one? Ah, oh, stop doing that. Yeah, nothing there. This is probably by far my favorite house. This is my favorite house. This is the thing I'm proud of. When I look at what I built, this is the thing I'm going to remember the most. That's what I'm proud of, basically. Carlac a lot. So everything's going to take a while to load here. Let me look at some chats. It's been a pleasure playing this game with you. I should really go out saying this to people, but... Yeah, people are saying it to me. Hello. Ain't nobody got time for not having hospitality. 40 minutes left in the game. I don't have a lot of time. This sucks. Alright, Survivors of the Siege. Survivors of the Siege was my squad that I ran for a year. 5, 25 to 12. So yeah, the anniversary is in May 25th. And we're going to do something this year. Probably on Old Republic or whatnot. Or Steam. Who knows? We'll do something. For Survivors Day. Uh, yeah, so it went from 2012 to 2013. Uh, yes. Yes, I am. So, yeah, uh, what is in here is a tribute to the most significant squad members, or at least the ones I do remember. Uh, Corporal Casey Layman and Corporal Casey Rusty, we just called them the Layman Brothers. They're pretty cool. Really cool. They, are, they were the, probably the nicest non-members I've ever had in the squad. Um, hello. People are long on. Say such work. Except who's your friend? Oh my goodness! They were the nicest non-members, and they got memberships. So it was nice. Gunwrath, Spawn, Rex, Vortex, General Egg, Scott, Portal Buster. Oh my word! Atlas Pond, Man of Many Names, Rainless Fairlight, Rex Back to Pack, now known as Rex and Nexus. Commander Spike, Drake, Data Blade, Gun Good, Gun Good still plays with me. Dark Ryu, Epic Guy, Florence Flow Matter, Davy Karjeski, now known as Deva Carver Rick. Uh, Melina Toxic Flyer. Uh, I think I had Dark Carbon's there name at some point. Uh, but I took it out to put him on a wall over here for his friends. But I never finished it, unfortunately. Dante Skylord, Ryan Force Move, Jared Skygunner, Ride Gunslinger. Jericho Sorry, Darth Kenton, Dan Zahara, Kenko Dagger, Barrison, Light Needler, Django, Block Chaser, Stern, Dairoyan, Mia, Sad Jedi. Um. Yeah, Stunner Die right now leads to the squad I'm in, Survivors Reborn. Thank you all. Zelkin Mortho, first survivor. He was the first person to join the squad. If it wasn't for him, the squad would never have lifted off. Oh man, there'd be so many people I wouldn't be I, I wouldn't know right now. It's it was he, he he was truly one of the greatest friends I had in this game. One of the greatest people I've met. I still talk to him today briefly. Uh, he's busy himself in IRL, but we, we keep in touch once in a while. And even the greatest of losses, and I leave the phrase open, because any true survivor would know the rest of that phrase, we shall survive. Rikus Skywalker, Razor, J-40, Heat, Corden, Woohoo, Most Eisley, Malgus Infiltrator, Clone, Nice Shot, Jet, Spindrift, and Back to Run. Thanks. Alright then, same event starts now. So much chat! <laughs> YouTuber writes, oh, my word, there's so much stuff here, I can't even comp comprehend how many chat messages. And over here, I was going to put more people's names, but I, I never got the time. I kind of tuned out of the game before that happened. As many of you know, I left the game sometime in the summer. I never got to finish putting the names down. Um, over here, Power Stations, Rancor. This was unfinished, of course. A lot of this was unfinished. I regret that. If I finished, ever finished this lot, I don't think I ever could. Um, so this area is a tribute mostly to survivors. I had it as a Sith Hall originally, but I changed it. So up ahead is probably the most awesome site 
you may ever see in someone's house, if you ask me, of course. So let's go up here. Up here we have, I am a survivor of the siege. And just take this all in for a moment. Look at what I have here. I have a lot of stuff. I'm not, I don't mean to gloat this whole time. I'm just saying I'm pretty proud of what I built on this game. So I had the wrecked up entrance. Most of our squad photos took place here. I built this for Survivors of the Siege. Survivors of the Siege, easily the best thing that I had in this game. I mean, without those guys, uh, it just, oh my word. I, I just can't believe, like, this game is, everything I've done is, is going away. Like, it, it's, I know it's going to happen. I mean, what I mean is no, it's going to happen. I meant it was coming eventually, but it's so unfortunate. Tree. I had a walkway in the trees here for those who liked parkour. It's a little bit hard to figure out. Oh, I got it. Thank God. A little walkway in the trees here. Sort of like an indoor thing. Power station of sorts. Ah. Uh, down with tyranny. That's what we had there. That's why I put the SAS statue there because we didn't support tyranny. Uh, that wasn't this kind of squad we are. We didn't support dictatorships, tyranny, wars. No worries. Alright, um, yeah, I probably won't be recording the giant party in the main hall. I know tons of other people will do the same. Mind you, they don't have as good computers as me, but I know exactly where I'm going to log off. In fact, we might just do that in this video. We might log off in this video permanently. I don't know. I don't want to say that, but just giving you hints about what might happen here. Housing got a nice little casual place. Got some TVs. Yoda is coming at you on the wall. I'm uploading a video. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of videos this week telling you where you can find me. Uh, 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 why there won't be Rebels MMO, other games you can join. I'm here to hold your hand throughout the game. It's been a pleasure playing with you. I can't... Can't Blaze Walker. Holy crap. I remember that guy. I never finished that one guy's chat message, did I? Yeah. I'm uploading a video this week. Ah, I'll, t I'll tell him later. He's watching this video, so he'll figure it out. Um, so here we go. We got an elevator. Elevator unlocks the key to awesomeness. We'll go up here. Up here. Sweet. We got Grievous's fighter. Got stuff there. More stuff. More stuff. More stuff. Oh, jeez, I, uh, oh, I failed. Um, it's possible to get up there at the Brezek Mountain. No, it's not. Okay, we're going to get back on our mount. Unfortunately, it's not possible. I mean, of all people, I think that it will be h hard to find on after playing this game. I'm at the bottom of the list. I have a Steam, I have a U giant, I'm, I'm growing my YouTube channel, it's not quite giant, I mean, it's not giant at all. Here's the sign, this is how people got up and took the poster, uh, took the pictures that they did, I took pictures here too. Blaster training down there, much scorch, very mark. But there's tons of places you can find me, like Swator, I have, I have tons of alts, um, I have Steam, of course, I play tons of games there, Plant Side 2... So, there's so many places you can find me, to be honest. So up here you got your resource center. Down there's nothing interesting, trust me, just a bunch of crates. And up here is your flying pad. And, of course, a guard for the forests. Alright. I'm not going to send to them yet. Alright, so that is my car act lot. I'm going to take the last few minutes here to uh, talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. one on many, probably. Um, so, I've, I've said this before in many videos. Like, I've talked about my character in Clone Wars, what it means to me, how it's defined me as a person. This game has defined me. So has Sots. Sots has defined me as a person. And to have such an absence of character have such a massive, a massive absence of character where your identity is someone else. When you look in the mirror, you don't necessarily see yourself, who you're born as. You see someone you created, oh my word, you see someone who you created 
on an online game. And there's no shame in that. There's absolutely no shame. And if you feel ashamed about that, don't. Don't. Embrace it. Embrace the fact that there's another version of you somewhere. When I mean version, I mean, that sounds kind of creepy. What I mean is embrace the fact that you met new people. You went somewhere where you could be doubly accepted. I mean, maybe you... For God's sakes, I hate that. You may, may Embrace the fact that you came somewhere where it was good to come. No. Oh my word, I have to write all down all these names. I, have, I don't have a lot of time, I'm gonna be honest. What time is it? Oh, for God's sakes, I got 40 minutes left. This is not, this is not fair. I need to get to the top of the SOTS pad, and then I will talk to you guys formally. This spear, I don't know, it's too clunky. Too big, much big, very clunk. Um, because the thing that is unique about a game like this, which unfortunately I'm gonna make some videos this later this week explaining this topic, but it's a game that probably is going to go extinct. A type of game that's gonna go extinct just because of how it well it doesn't work. Sure, add me. Yeah, so many people to talk to. Got to send a bunch of messages afterward, but yeah. Um, I, I mean, like, this game was a crutch for me. If it wasn't for this game, then, you know, I think I'd have very few people to talk to. I mean, this game gave me a crutch. It gave me somewhere where I could go. I knew it would probably be accepted. And that was the magic of this game, was that you could easily walk into someone's house, teleport to someone that you randomly add or randomly added you, just for the heck of it over and out for the last time later man it has been an adventure <laughs> um holy crap where was i a place where you could randomly add someone to your friends list and you teleport to them and you would just you know, you'd meet new people, you'd get caught in some roleplay feud or whatever, and it would be awesome because... And the next day you'd come back because it was really fun, you enjoy that roleplay experience, they talk to you more in depth, they say, Hey, here's my other friend, you meet that friend, you meet this friend, and after you know it, I know hundreds of people. Um, genuinely know hundreds of people, like people I actually converse with, people I enjoy conversing with, people are like, Hey, I know you, I know you, I know you, from character. Uh, and it's quite awesome, you know, it's not a number. I always support the idea of quality over quantity. I was never about having high numbers in my squad. It's about having really cool people in my squad. I'm not talking people with thumbs up rates. I'm talking people who are cool to talk to, had awesome ideas, contributed to the squad in unique ways. And um, that's ultimately what this game brought for me is friendship. It brought me oodles of friendship that was it unnecessary? No, absolutely not. It was, you know, I think it shaped me as a person. Making those friendships and meeting those people. Without it, you know, I wouldn't be the same person I am now without the influences of those people. Um, let alone that this game motivated me to make YouTube videos. I was like, you know what, I want to make YouTube videos. I'm going to do it on this game. I did some for a while, then I started to branch out, branch out, branch out, branch out. And then once again, I came back to the game. And you guys were like, whoa, awesome stuff. And you guys have been nothing but supportive for me. It's, it's amazing, like, how much support I've gotten for doing this game alone. How people walk in and you say, oh my good word, you're the Sator. Like, you know how that makes me feel? That's, it's awesome, because there's hundreds of tours, and my name was generated, except for the Oak Rope report, I changed it at a later time. But it's just, it's phenomenal. Like, I can't, I can't describe the experience well enough. Um, and it is an absolute, you know, it is an absolute, how would you say this? It is an absolute, disappointment you know a mind killing fear that there will probably never be a game like this again SOE is done with the kids games they've said that themselves um they're done with having to work with such a buggy engine and they're closing for realms there's nothing there's gonna be no more I'm pretty sure there's no games that will provide a similar experience like this again God forbid it was a, you know, a TV show tie-in, a really good TV show, but a generally good game as well, a game I enjoyed. Um, 
Oh, all these people trying to add me. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to keep in contact with me after the game closing. But um, it's just, it's an experience that you can't replicate in real life. You can't write an algorithm for it and say, here is how Clone Adventure has made you make friends. You can't describe it. I know Gun Good, Davacarver Rick, who else? Dogma Blarthfire, K Doncast, also known as Craig. Uh, just open the friends list. Like, open the freaking. Yeah, look at all that. People who support me over here for Squad. It's probably a better place to look. General Eggs, I talk to him, Randy Voss, once in a while. Blaze Super Wielder, I'm glad he's online. Uh, Rex Vortex, Scott Portal Buster. Just look at the Hall of Survivors. Those people who were with me in Sots. People I had awesome experiences with. And I, I just, I, I don't know what to think. Like, I don't think any of us will actually realize what we're losing here when the game goes down. Um, I, I just can't thank you all enough for giving me one of the best experiences ever. I mean, ever. Like, the most fun I've ever had online. No matter the engine, no matter what it was. I'm going to really, really, really miss the Torek Ropri. Um, he is me. I am him. And therefore, part of my character is, you know, part of myself is absence uh, starting in a few minutes, in about half an hour from when I'm recording this. Um, so it's just, I, ah, man. I'm rambling on at this point. I'm glad for those of you still tuned in. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm, like I said, I'm rambling. I'm going to miss all of you guys. I'm going to miss Clorin's Adventures. It's been truly an awesome experience. Card Assault, building. I don't think Swator can, you know, crack off, get this building. They can't make me... There's nothing in Swator that will allow me to say I am a survivor of the siege uh, when they do add building. And Swator is cool, but the, it's not, it's not player-generated content. And it encourages you to make fun with the game instead of other players. And there's nothing that beats the social interaction, which this game was all about. It was built off the of social interaction. Um, SOE has truly been awesome, folks, you know, with the updates, and it was lacking at some point, but what can a company do? Um, I completely understand that. I'm not a game developer, so there's a level of hypocrisy that I've been, uh, a victim of. At least I've been guilty of it. Not a victim, guilty. They've been guilty, they've been a victim of the hypocrisy. I've been guilty of it. Um, so, what is your best memory of Clone's Adventures? What will you miss most when it goes... I'm gonna miss the friends. I mean, I, I can keep in contact with the people. It's not gonna be the same unless it's in Clone Wars Adventures. Um, so this is Satoru Kropri, uh reporting from my car like a lot. This is probably gonna be where I'm log off at. A place of peace. A place where I feel I'm at home. Um, a place where I look back and say, Sator, this is where you'll be put to rest. Um, so yeah. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in to Clone Wars Adventures. It has truly been the best experience ever for me. This is the tour signing out one more time. See you all later.